So in this case, we're going to uh, place an immediate implant bridge. I'm just going around with 15C to detach that tissue from the roots. We just use a rotating movement with some fine forceps to remove the tooth. And uh, the main thing that you're trying to achieve is just not to destroy the soft tissue. So we want to get rid of all of that granulation tissue and any abscess or uh, infections before we do the implants. The coronal part of the drill sits towards the lingual so that you can have a screw retained restoration. So we're just going through the normal drill kit and getting a feel for the bone. I'm keeping some bone from the drills. It's going to look like they're closer on the x-rays than it really is because of the parallax effect. Here I'm using the countersink. This is a 3 by 12 millimeter implant from BioHorizons. Uh, we're putting on our <clears throat> healing abutments here, we'll cover screws. The floss on the driver is to make sure the patient doesn't swallow it. And uh, then we'll pack some graft material in there. Now, <clears throat> this area here, I'm really trying to just keep tissue volume more than to do any major bone grafting or anything. So uh, I don't mind if no membrane is used here. I've used a diamond bear and a disc to remove that emergence profile so that it actually just stays the same size as the implant and then screw that into position. And then we'll use uh, that model we made from the alternate impression, putting a little bit of cotton in there to stop the physical going down the inside of these cylinders. So I've got this clear silicon and then just fill it up with normal physical, a little up flowable. Okay, it's all looking a bit ugly at the moment. Now we're gonna shake it all up. The spurs are actually designed for acrylic, but they work just as well on bisacryl. I use Softlex discs as well, and now we screw it into position. And once we have that in position, that's just um, a cone of cabot. 